Mr. Speaker, the workers of the United States of America are tired of being pawns in this big corporate game. President Trump came to my community and said, don't sell your house. Don't sell your house. We're going to get these houses price, uh, costs back up, prices back up. And since that time, we lost a second shift at our General Motors plant. And General Motors, on that same day that the workers were walking out, announced they're building a new factory in Mexico. President Trump said, don't sell your house. A few months later, General Motors lays off the first shift. They tell the workers two days after Thanksgiving. And just a couple of days ago, a trucking company, Falcon Transport, just outside of Youngstown, Ohio, their workers get a text message. 600 workers get a text message at 8 o'clock on a Saturday night. You lost your job. We got bailout money for every bank that wants one. Every savings and loan, every corporation gets a tax cut to the tune of $2.3 trillion, and no one gives a damn about the workers. If we could bail out the corporations that have done everything wrong, we can start helping the workers who have done everything right. I yield back the balance of my time.